Now the next um, skin tone we're going to do on the Reborns is the yellow. I have some yellow already mixed uh, and it was stored in this container from a previous session uh, on other babies. So oops, what I'm going to do is just mix, mix it well and add it to this bowl and we can always store it again if there's some left over. Got a brush. I wash the brush. It's got the other brush here, ready to go, and it's another wash. Okay, nice and clean. And I think that's watery enough. I'll just have a look. Just going to add the, yeah, that's fine. The Liquitex and the. Uh, sealer. I don't know whether I added it in the previous application. So there's your Liquitex. And get my glove on. And we shall commence. Oh, the sealer, I forgot. Okay. So, of course I get the wrong one. Good shake. <laughs> These bottles are freaking me out. They just don't open. One, two, three, four is enough. Okay, so just gonna mix that in there and mix it well. Oops, make a mess. Now, what we're looking for is a watery, uh, like watercolour, a watery consistency, not thick, like milk or all that kind of thing. Still some lumps in there. Let's see if I've got allergies all year round. I, they don't seem to want to leave me. Okay. Now that's looking better blended. And we'll commence. I use this mop brush. It's a big mop brush. As a handle. Um, it makes it easier to hold the um, part. So we'll start with the little feet and again we do exactly the same as what we did yesterday. We'll just go over the entire part and then get a, oh we'll go yellow, there you go, colour coordinate um, and blend. And that is looking nice. It's a warming, warming colour. Get our cosmetic brush. Get rid of any build up of paint between toes or cracks. That doesn't sound very nice, cracks. Creases. Creases, right? And then we just go over the, the rest of it. And actually, what I was doing yesterday too, to save time, was just doing the whole limb. You can do it in sections, which I have done as well. Um, you know, like the upper limb, lower limb. And, uh, just cover everywhere. Make sure everywhere is well covered. Okay. 
and then blend it. Now I'm not pouncing very hard with the cosmetic sponge. I'm just doing enough that it's blending the paint evenly and leaving the little little speckles to make it look like skin. And that's all you need. Then this will be dry uh, by the time I get to finish the next limb. So yeah. Again it's all over the head as well. It's not just like do the face as well the whole lot. These are, as I said, only washes and we're building up skin tones at this point in time. I'm not sure whether I'll do mottling on these babies. I'm thinking about it. With the model, it would have to be a um, a darker colour, a more concentrated paint. You're not quite so runny as like this. You can't even see it when I go against the side of the bowl or whatever it is. Yeah. So I'm going to continue and with the rest of the kit and kits, the other ones I've got up here, and I'll be back next time to show you our next skin tone. Thanks. Bye. Oops.